Brakthia Howl, Brakthia Shai, Brakthia Howl, Brakthia Shai, Brakthia Howl, Brakthia Howl, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Chakudash, the blindness of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which were well. Citations to the hopeful elect out there, you Akim to Zadakim, that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. All right, I'm the priest Shaman. This week's topic is going to be entitled, Brother, it's all about faith. You know, it's faith, uh, something with faith. Because that's the that's the fuel, right? You know, why am I putting together this lesson? Why do I do this lesson? Um, or try to find a show every time I get out to the gym? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has put the spirit on me to believe, all right, in this word. And a part of believing in this word is that if you teach, all right, sincerely and diligently, there's going to be a reward at the end. That reward being deliverance, all right? Being a part of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is 144,000. Now, I don't have any tangible evidence to give you. All right. I mean, I can show you my channels and say, look, I'm doing the work. But even that is not like a, you know, guarantee that you're going to make it. What's what's keeping us going is our faith. You know, we have faith that Yahweh Bashim Shai will have mercy upon us, man. And, you know, Matt, no matter what we're going through. All right. We have to still hone in on that. You know what I'm saying? Like my thought process now is, you know, if things are going south, you know, and I, you know, and I'm, and things are going pretty bad for me. I don't even really get like too fucked up in the spirit because I'm like, okay, am I still here? I'm still alive. Am I still able to do this work? All right, then it's gonna be for my betterment somehow. Because Yahweh Bashim Shai, even though he chastened us and put us through shit, all right, it's all a faith booster. All right, now I'm gonna go to the book of just Hebrews 11. I'm just gonna read that, you know, and I'll quote precepts, but you know, I was kind of rushing. You know, to you know, they had time to put put together scripture. So I said, look, I have my topic is faith, and this is the perfect chapter to go with that. Now, this is the book of Hebrews eleven and one. It says, now faith is the evidence. Sorry, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And that word substance, when you go into Greek, I believe it's hypostases, is where you get the word hypothesis from, right? And it's pretty much a foundation. You know what I mean? Um, and it says it's, it's the things hoped for. Now, think about it like this, right? Imagine you try to go for a job and the person says, look, this job right here is going to be the biggest payout ever. You're going to have the biggest payout in history. Nothing could compare. Okay? And you're like, nice. When I'm going to get that check? I can't tell you. You just got to cap the, You just have to trust me. Well, that's going to take faith because you don't have the check in your hand. You can't quite see it, right? You don't have any, you know, but you believe and trust that that person is going to come through on their word. And that's what we're doing with Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. See, some people can't do that. Some people can't say, look, man. Some people say, look, I need to see my check and my shit. I'm not going to go for no, you're going to pay me and I'll be trust. No, but guess what? We do because we know that Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, they're not niggas, man. All right. Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is a man of his word. Okay, and he's never gonna forsake the righteous. And how are we righteous? Romans five and one. Our faith in Yahweh Shah. All right, that's how we made righteous right now. It says verse two, for that for by it the elders obtain a good report. Our apostles and our elders, all right, have a good report because you can put back videos. Wait, they had man, they got videos when they had all black hair. Now they have nothing but grays. You see what I'm saying? When guys fell off in the year 2000 because the Lord didn't come back, but that was a fulfillment of Luke. You know, you shall desire to see the Son of the Man, the day the Son of the Man return when they not see it. They endured, man. They endured and they're still strong. And fuck it, man. Like, look, man, we're just we're just gonna do this thing, man. Lord willing, we're just gonna do this thing. You know, fuck it if you know people talk they shit and yo, you've been in this thing for years and it, it, nothing's happened. Man, you fucking old now and shit still ain't. I don't give a fuck, man. I'm going to keep doing this word, Lord willing, man. All right? Because I know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is telling the truth. These scriptures are the truth. This, 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 these comforters, this is the comforter. All right? This is the true comforter. Not some fat black nigga inside and out on 125th Street, all right, that died. This truth, this truth right here is our comfort and our faith booster. All right? That's how we're going to obtain a good report. To hell with the world. It says, verse 3. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of the Most High, which is Yahweh Shai, okay? Because Yahweh Shai was the only begotten spirit, or only begotten son of the Most High, Yahweh, 
and Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai created everything, every world, so right, all the all the elect spirits, everything. Um, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear, and that's heavy right there. Things that are seen right now, all right, are made of uh, were made of things which do not appear. So. You know, angelic powers create everything we see before us, and that's what we're trying to obtain, man. All right, a greater, a, something greater than what this world perceives. Like any, everything in this world, honestly, could come to naught. You know, could perish, um, and really trans, transitory. However, the kingdom of heaven, that's forever, man. I, man, being in the kingdom, knowing you did, you did your course, and now you have complete peace, complete rest, having your reward, no more wickedness in the earth. Man, that's something to strive for. Verse 4. By faith, Abel offered unto the Most High a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. Abel and Cain, that's that's Jacob and Esau, man. You know, Abel was a righteous spirit. You know, he offered up a burnt offering of meat, and this stupid-ass dude, Cain, offered um, vegetables. And he was, and Cain was envious of Abel's offering and slew his own, and slew his own brother. That, that goes back to Ezekiel 35, man. That perpetual hatred, man. All right, between Jacob and Esau. You know? It says, um... Which he obtained witness that he was righteous. The Most High testifying of his gifts. And by... By it being dead, yet speaketh. It says... By faith, Enoch was translated. Now, Enoch was translated. When you go into the Apocrypha, it tells you the reason Enoch was beamed up because the Lord didn't want his that righteous soul among them wicked ass niggas. You know, so he was, you know, he was beamed up. You know, it says that he should not. Oh, see it? That she, that he should, that he should not see the death because he didn't die. He was delivered and was not found because the Mosai had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased the Most High, right? So he was a righteous brother, all right? So you can see faith has always been around, man, all right? Six, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. So you brothers that run into situations and you, you know, you're kind of like, damn, you know, what I'm going to do, such and such and such, and conflicted with the truth, you got to have faith, man. You gotta have faith. Put the truth first, have faith, and watch your Howard Bashim Yahushai deal. You know? He'll work everything out, man. Like, how you think spiritual power works? Spiritual power, as the Apostle of the Recall goes into, is just the most side turning up our faith now. You know? The Lord said, you know, with faith, you're gonna be able to move a mountain. The faith of a mustard seed, which, you know, the mustard seed grows to a very large tree. But when that faith is there, that's, that's when we're gonna be doing things, man, without any doubt. That's what fucked Peter up when he was walking on water. He started to doubt, and that's why he started to sink. But but we're not going to do that, man. Low whoa. When we get the spiritual powers, our faith are going to be on full blast. See? So, hey, man, whoever's going through some bullshit, your head's all fucked up, just, just lean on your how about you, man? I have faith. You're not dead, right? So, there's still a shot. And at, at the end of the day, if the most is trying you, then the end, the end outcome, if you're still doing its work, still in the truth, it's just to make you better and build up your faith even more, all right? Just to, sh you know, that's how the Lord works. It says, by faith, it's like, um, it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the most high, it's like, he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So you have to dil diligently seek the Lord. Now the scripture says, um, seek the creator in the days of thy youth. You know? It also says when you come back to the Heavenly Father, seek him ten times more. So how are you diligently doing that? You're being in tune with the brotherhood. You're being in tune with the prophecies. Going, to, going out there on the highways and byways, putting together these lessons. You know? I had to really pray, me personally. I had to really pray for the Most High to say, Yo, Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, make just make me more afraid of you. Make me more, just give me more respect and to you, all right, in fear and and make me more diligent, you know. So I said, after every gym session, I'm gonna 
put, put this camera on and do a lesson. I'm not going to settle for three shows a week because in my head, I'm very consistent with the gym. So if I could be consistent with something carnal, all right, and something of this world, then how much more something spiritual, right? So no fucking excuses, Akim, all right? No matter what you're going through, you should be doing this work, okay? Because faith without works is dead. That's like somebody just going into the gym and believing they're going to drop weight and get a fucking six pack. And not, and not want to lift up not damn one dumbbell. So that don't work that way. So you have to have both. You have to put in the work and believe you're going to get better. So that's the two work in tandem. Keep going. By faith, Noah, being warned of the um, Most High, um, of things not seen as yet. Right, just like how we warning people of the missiles, the third world's war where missiles are gonna rain from the sky, it's not been seen yet, you know? Some people can't even imagine it. Some can, you know, they put it in the movies, but that actual day happening, all hell breaks loose, Jacob's trouble, some people are just so on their leads that they don't think the Lord is gonna do these things, but the Most High will do these things. And we don't know where the fuck we're gonna be when that day happens, you know? I, I just be praying for my family, praying for the brotherhood, myself, um, because when shit kick, you don't know where you're going to be at. We don't know, you know, we can't tell you beat for beat where to go, how to, how to do shit. All we can tell you is have faith in the Lord. He will go, he's going to guide our steps. It says, um, not seen as yet moved with fear. So fear is a key component. You know what I'm saying? I, I, look, man, fear, you have to fear the most high. Pray to Yahweh Shai for more fear. All right. Cause a lot of guys, you know, you think you fear the Lord, but you don't. You know, I pray for the I pray for more fear, man, because you know it'll, it'll stop you from doing dumb shit. You know, like like the Lord could really fuck you up. You have to really have that mindset, like yo, the Lord could really put my ass in a blender. You know, so we gotta have more fear. That your most high, how about Shimmy Shah? Like Noah did. It says, uh, moved with fear, um, prepared an ark, and that's what we're doing right now. We're preparing, we're preparing the spiritual ark, trying to tell. You know, the masses out there, the elect that's scattered amongst the masses out there, wake up, man. Wake the hell up. You know, the time is short. You know, when that door is sealed, that shit ain't gonna open. That, not shit, that's, that door ain't gonna open back up. You know, it says, um, prepared an ark to the saving of his house by he, um, by the which he condemned the world. And became heir of the righteous, which is by faith. All that was done by faith, man. Because remember, during the time of Noah, it never rained. You know, um, there was a dew from heaven that watered everything. And that's how they were tilling the ground or what have you. But the, the concept of rain and water coming from the heavens, that wasn't a thing. You know, and that's why after the flood, the Lord said, I'm going to put a rainbow now. All right. So every time it rains, you see that rainbow. All right. It's a covenant. The covenant of a what? To let the Lord know that, look, I'm not going to destroy the earth anymore by water. But he didn't say he won't destroy it by fire. And both of which are cleansing agents. Fire and water are both cleansing agents. But fire is a more thorough cleansing agent. So the Lord is going to thoroughly dissolve this place, man. America. All right. And the land of Israel and certain parts of the world with thermonuclear destruction. So we have to get right, believe, have fear in Yahweh, Bashim Shai. All right. Knowing that the time is at hand. All right, Jacob's trouble is at hand. The mark of the beast is at hand. We're in some serious fucking times, man. So you have to have your faith on full blast and pray for more. You know, um, I'm gonna give all praises. Uh, let me let me read this real quick. For Abraham, it says, "By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after." Um, received for an inheritance obeyed it says and he went out not knowing whether he went by faith he sojourned in the land of the promise of promise as in a strange country dwelling in the tabernacles slack here um, tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob the heirs with him of the same promise um I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna stop right there. But the, the the point is pretty much have faith like all our forefathers did. All right, like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Noah, and Enoch, and all these great brothers, man, Moses. Okay, 
Um, they're written about in the scriptures because of their faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, right? So we have to have that. With that, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rachakudash, the blinds to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which you well. Citations to the whole for the elect out there, you Akim to Zadakim that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom.